Oh, we are here on InterSolar and here we are at the, the CSEM and we have very advanced battery technology in which they present to us. Hello, so my name is Guillaume. So I'm a recently joined a member of CSEM, which is the research, uh, a research center in Switzerland, organized a bit like the proud of our institutes in Germany. So the idea is to take the technology from the academic and bring it to a TRL higher level for the company to transfer the technology to. So CSEM has different uh, field of expertise and we are working on battery in our case. The new center of uh, CSEM has been opened last February and we do everything from the material level up to the integration in microgrids. Um, in terms of battery management, because that's the part that you are interested in, we use and leverage a lot our knowledge of material physics in order to do a better management. And in CSEM especially, there is an expertise around EIS. So if you want to move here, we have our system. So the point is like each of our cells are equipped with a BMS, which has an EIS capability. You can find it here on those BMS prismatic fold. Oh, well, pair on some cylindrical call seven. Bring that. The thing is from the EIS, we can have an understanding of the chemistry inside. And we have a long, now long expertise on how to deconvolute the EIS in order to understand which frequency correspond to which chemical reaction, which chemical interface, and which physics states of the batteries. So if you look at our paper, uh, you, you can find those details. And we deconvolute the EIS into its sum of some uh, frequency, kind of frequency components. And then by studying the frequency at which the electrical the electrochemical uh, element events happens, we can do an insight diagnosis of the batteries. So we can monitor the SCI, especially the chemistry, the state of the electrolyte. We can monitor the particle tracking. We have some dendrite detection ongoing and things like that. Now, in order to show the interest of our algorithm and why someone should use our algorithm, we have developed this uh, platform. So we have uh, like a system which combines both the EIS capability and a pipeline where we can switch in and out batteries. So if you see here, we have green cells, which means that those cells have been connected and are engaged in the path, and one which is blue. That one is a biogas cell. So it's here, but it's not taking part in any power delivery. And we always have one cell in the string which is bypassed. So that if we need to do some in-depth diagnosis, we can do it, the cell is relaxed without interrupting the pack. If we need to take one cell out, this one we can take in and we can still have the same power of delivery. Also, we can change the cell which is bypassed. And by that way, we can always have the weakest cell to a given scenario to be out of the pack. And therefore maximize the the lifetime of the battery by minimizing the damage of the use.